Yeah, at the beginning, it really started just for fun. I was like, I like to be a mermaid. I'm going to take a few videos with my GoPro on the water and put it up uh, on the YouTube channel. And there was no editing, nothing. I just put it up there. And then I started to get traction. Then I said, oh, maybe you should put more time into this. Um, and then I started to, yeah, like have an outline to my videos and topics. Um, and then I started to search. What it really helped me is to search for keywords. And this is one of my biggest asset with my company is to work on SEO, uh, search, search engine optimization. And mainly I search which key words, terms have a high search volume, but are really easy to target. And um, good for me, mermaid is a niche that not too many compete. <laughs> no, there's not too many people competing in, but mainly I find some keywords that I can target, like um, how to swim like a mermaid. It's a keyword with like a little sentence or mermaid uh, hair underwater, how to wear a wig underwater. There's a bunch of keywords that you can get mermaid names. A lot of people type this in Google and search and I, that's what I do. Mainly I find keywords um and i make it as a title and i make a video about it that was one of my way to get uh, videos that ranked really well and also i was just typing mermaids and searching in, in youtube videos about mermaids and i watch them and i see what they talk about and i try to make a video with the same topic but better and longer and that was techniques i used to get some good content that people wanted I also noticed too on your YouTube channel. I, I'm curious if you can share any share any details on this. But obviously, you do quite a lot of product reviews of mm -hmm. of your fins, right? And yeah. so those that as content in itself reflects somebody who is is uh, maybe interested in buying the product if they're searching those key terms, right? In terms of of product reviews, do you do you find that though that type of content tends to generate more more business in terms of purchasing of fins for you? Yeah, um, I mean, yes and no. Um, for me, I want to be seen as the expert in my field, and if I just talk about the fin that I sell, people will say, "Oh, she's just selling stuff." But if you make content in general about something people are interested in and they see okay i tested all the fins on the market and i'm going to give you my honest opinion about them and by the way i sell this one for me i, I never say like this is the best fin ever i just say for who they are made for and after that you make your own decision and i feel this is a good way for people just to share about what you're doing and you know what you're talking about then that's how i've seen it and also it's just fun for me to to see what's the because when you develop a product you want to test what's on the market um also i noticed like silicone mermaid tails are the high-end super expensive ones um that most people cannot afford but everybody dream of it and it's just really nice to watch and people like to dream then those ones really work then i do reviews of them too then you you just see also which kind of videos work for you and make more of those, even if it doesn't bring sales, but it brings people to come and see your channel and then they watch other videos and they discover everything else you do.